Have you ever deleted something from Apple's iCloud and wondered how to get it back? Well, that's part of today's idea of the day. I'm a huge fan of Apple's iCloud. I use it not only for a variety of apps on my phones and my tablets and so forth, but I use it heavily on the Mac because of the new uh, Sierra, the Mac OS that allows you to actually put your documents folders, your photos, your desktop into the iCloud. Uh, but there is one little problem. If you drag a file, a traditional file, from certain apps that were designed from the ground up to use iCloud, they go away, which is what it means when you delete something, right? They go away. But there's no undo in an app that stores things on iCloud. I mean, there literally isn't. I was using an app just today. I mean, point of reference. I store a lot of my to-do lists in a voice memo app called Just Press Record. I've talked about it in another video. Just Press Record lets me use my watch and leave a voice message to myself, basically a voice memo, where I'll say something like, well, here's a good idea for this, and here's a good idea for that. And anyhow, it stores them in folders based on the date, and yada, yada, yada. So I'm going through those, there, and I transcribe them so that they're in something that's text-readable. So every now and then, every few weeks, I transcribe all those down so I can make my nice list of things I'm going to shoot for my Idea of the Day channel. And I accidentally deleted a folder full of stuff when I was intending to just delete one thing. So I thought, all right, well, let me just try the traditional Apple brilliant way of un of undoing something, shaking my phone. And of course, that app didn't support the shake option, so my file was gone. So I thought, oh, now how the heck am I going to find it? There's no trash can on your iPhone. There's no trash can on your iPad. And if you go to your Mac trash can, the items you deleted from iCloud on an app that was designed for iCloud, those files weren't there. They're not in the trash can. So it's like, wow, how do I find those? Well, I ended up having to Google it and find some other obscure websites that talk about the process. But the bottom line is the process and the method to get your files back right now, if you accidentally delete something that's in iCloud, is to go to the web browser. That's a little counterintuitive. Who would have thought you have to do this? You have to go to iCloud.com in your web browser, and then you start to get to a page where you have the iCloud section. And even then, that's not intuitive, because then within that, you have a list of all your different devices with pictures of them, which is really kind of weird. So you do that, but then at the very bottom of that, maybe I'll, you know what, I'll put a picture of it right now where you find it. So you gotta go down, and you see at the bottom of that page, where after you see all your devices that you own, you see a section where it, it essentially gives you to a recover deleted files option and then you go there and then you get a scrollable list of all the files that have been deleted and how many days are left you'll see there it tells you that that one's got three days or two days and then the, the, you scroll to the bottom and those have 30 days left because you just did it so here i am i'm on my iphone i delete something accidentally now i got to go to the browser Go through all these different hoops. Scroll to the bottom at that. Go to the recover deleted file. Scroll to the bottom of that and find the items that still say 30 days because it says there deleted 30 minutes ago. That's pretty stupid. There should be some sort of an option where if you do delete something, no matter what method you use to delete it, whether it's on your iPad or iPhone or an app that uses iCloud, that when those things get deleted, they show up. If anything, it would be great if they were in the Mac desktop, if you have a Mac and they're there. But I understand a lot of people, they don't, they don't have a Mac, and so they needed something universal. Is the website the best choice they can make? Why not give people an app or an option within the app or make some other method that if you shake your phone, which I don't like that, that's a dumb idea, and I have an idea today where I talked about that, but there should be an easier and more intuitive way to restore a file that you accidentally deleted. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, there it is. That's today's idea of the day. Some of them are pretty good, right? And some of them suck, I admit. First to admit, some of my ideas suck. But if you visit Idea of the Day every day and you subscribe to my channel by looking at the subscribe link in the corner, you'll see a brand new idea every single day. And I promise you, some of them don't suck.